Hi, my name's John Elks. Uh, I'm technical brewer here at Carlsberg. I'll be taking you on your tour today around the brewery. We'll start here at the malt silos. We have uh, two towers, which uh, holds all the malt we would use in typically one week's production. The tower on the right holds 100 tonnes per cell, and there are nine cells in that silo. And uh, on the left, we have six cells per silo, each holding a maximum of 200 tonnes. Tea, what does the smell remind you of? Ah, beer. <laughs> Shock. So let's just get, get some stress on. <laughs> get a beat. Okay, we're now in the uh, Carlsberg Northampton brew house. This was refitted in 2002 to replace the brew house that was uh, installed back in the 1970s. It's a fully automated process. Two brewing lines running 24-7. Look at him! Stinky. Talk about him. Oh, horrible. Oh, horrible. He knows, he knows. He knows yeah, he's hiding his face. He's hiding his face. He's turning away. He's away. He's like, oh. <laughs> After the brew house process, we enter fermenting. The hot wort is cooled down to about 14 degrees. We add yeast and oxygen, and then we allow the beer to ferment. Uh, typical fermentation for Carlsberg is about six days. After this time, we remove the beer using the centrifuges, which are over down in that far right-hand corner. The yeast is collected in the tanks over here to be reused, and the beer is then sent through to filtration, where it's prepared, ready for packaging. The tanks you see in the corner here, um, we fill with any surplus yeast that we don't require for brewing, and this is then either sold for animal feed, in particular pigs, and um, we also send some of it to Marmite. You can enjoy the factory? Oh, are we? Yeah, very much so, so far. Yeah? You learned a lot? It's pretty hot. Uh, it's mildly hot. I can tell by the sweat. Trying to look, yeah, you know. Wipe that off quick. A few, few beads, of, beads of sweat creeping in. In Russia, we you make vodka. You drink vodka, oh, yeah. Cupcakes. We're now next to the fermenting vessels. This is where the beer is kept for about six or seven days while the sugar is turned into alcohol and also CO2 is produced. Each of these vessels holds somewhere in the region of 1.7 uh, million pints of beer. It's building the uh, anticipation of tasting it quite well at the moment. A lot, a lot of beer. Also running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, it's producing 54,000 bottles per hour. There's a river of drink. Look, that magnificent hole. We're now in the, the can line area. Uh, we have three canning fillers. These are running all day as well, same as most of our production. Cans are bought in, down the track work here empty, filled with beer, and the can end is then applied and rolled to form a seam. We've got four different packaging legs. We can put the uh, cans into boxes, tray and shrink, or use high cones to cluster the cans together in a four, six or eight pack. I reckon the boys are ready for a beer now. Just enough for Samu and Manoa there, I reckon. 